Alright everyone, here's the deal. Before we get into the video, I'm going to need everyone watching to go down below, leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and leave a comment. Tell me if this is a useful video for you, and if you're building your own adventure map. Anyways, here's a hypothetical situation. You're walking through an adventure map, you reach a little tavern. This is a crappy tavern, but bear with me. There's a bunch of clay pots, and since this is a Zelda-inspired map, you're like, hey, I could probably break these pots, and you would be absolutely right. You break it, voila, rupee. You break this one, you keep getting rupees. It's beautiful, and I'm going to show you how you can make it with other stuff, too, such as gold coins. I already showed you rupees and some arrows. And I should mention, I'm making a video right now about how to make your own fire arrows and ice arrows that can melt things, freeze things, all the works. Super cool, so make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell so that you know when that video comes out. So, now, how to set this up. You're only going to be using two command blocks for each one. So, one command block, and then you want a comparator coming out of it into another command block. This first command block is a repeat and always active command block, and this one you can just leave as a normal impulse. But, before we actually look at the commands, you're going to want to grab a structure block. How do you do that? Slash give... Uh, at P, structure block. Boom. Now you have a structure block. So, place it one block above the ground and break the block below it. Now you're going to come in here, change all these under the size column to 1, and you can leave the offset as Y negative 1. That's perfectly fine. And now, whatever item you want to come out of the pot, you're going to be dropping in this little square right here. So in this case, it's going to be these fire arrows. I'm just going to do five. Pretty sure that was five. Um, so, you want to let it sit for a minute. I should have mentioned this. I was just sitting here completely silent. You want to let them sit for a minute because that way when they spawn back in, you'll pick them up quicker. As you know, in Minecraft, if something is just dropped, then it takes a minute to pick it up. But if it sits for a second, then it will be picked up faster. So now you want to come back in here, and you're going to name this structure. Make sure include entities is on down here, because otherwise it won't include the entities. So to name the structure, choose anything. Um, five arrows. We'll just call it that. Hit save, and now you're good. And we can go ahead and do this impulse command block, because that has to do with the structure. So what this is is slash structure, which is a new command in Minecraft Bedrock, is awesome. Slash structure, load, and then the name of your structure, which in this case is five arrows. And then the coordinates of the pot, which I will show you is negative 10 for negative 202. 202, just like that, and that's good. And now the only thing we want to do is test for when the block is broken. So you're doing test for block, and then the coordinates, just like that, and then air. You're testing for air because that way when this block is broken, it will turn the comparator on, and as you can see, give us the arrows, just like that. And you can place the pot, uh, the pot black, and it will continue working. I didn't mean to do that. Woo! I should also mention that after you load this or save the structure, you can break the structure block, and it doesn't matter. It'll keep working just like that. Okay, so this one, pretty sure I've already set up, um, but you can see. Oh, it's not working. So okay, so I think when it does that, you just want to come in here, mess with the command block. I actually had it do this to me earlier. Of course, it would do it again in the video. That fixes it. I think sometimes the repeat command block can mess up. I'm not sure if that's a bug. It seems like a bug. But anyways, it should be working. Yeah, there's our gold coins. Just like that. And I guess that's it for the video. I left these structure blocks here. But as I mentioned, you can break those. And it won't matter one bit. There's gold coins. There's rupees. It's working fine now. That's funny. It just wanted to mess up during the video because the game doesn't like me. I hope you guys found this video useful. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Tell me what kind of adventure map you are working on. And also, please make sure you're subscribed and leave a like. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.